this slide, I can see that the photographs are jumbled together and I want to make them into a regular grid. There is a way that you can do that automatically in PowerPoint without having to worry about selecting each photograph and resizing it. Super simple. All you have to do is select all of the photographs. Uh, deselect that text box there. Go up to Picture Tools Format and under Picture Layout, when I roll over each of these selections, see how it's changing the layout? Pretty cool, right? I'm going to select this one because that's the layout I want, a 3x3 three three grid. And that happened automatically. We are going to move this up to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to hold down the shift key while I drag this out to make it a little bit bigger. And that's about the size I want for my finished slide. Uh, don't worry that you can't read what's in the text. We're going to fix that later. But for now, what you need to do is you need to cut everything that's out of these green text boxes and paste them into this text box. And you'll see that it automatically resizes so that it all fits. Rather than do that for each of these nine text boxes, I'm going to show you that I've already done this. But now I need to change the, the way the text boxes look so that you can actually read it. Select the whole object and you have to ungroup the object. Do this twice. I don't know why PowerPoint makes you do it twice, but there it is. Now I'm going to select just the text boxes, not the photographs. And I've got my format shape window here and I will fill it, fill the text boxes with this crimson color, make it a little bit darker. There we go. I also want to move them up so that they're in the middle of the picture. I want them to be a little bit taller, the red text boxes I mean, and I want the text to be a little bit bigger because right now it's tiny text that you can hardly read. So that is visually what I'm looking for except for the fact that we've got these four lines of text on some of these bands and we've got two lines on the other. When I read this text, I see that the, there's a lot of room for improvement of editing to get rid of some of the extra words and to give them, uh, give all the sentences more action, make them all action verbs. And I've made this chart here to show you what the original text looked like unable to plan for new releases and change it to can't plan for new releases, which is shorter and it also is punchier, has more action. This is what it looks like after I have edited all the text, uh, including the title. I've changed the title so that now it's no longer on six lines, now it's just three words, three lines. And another thing that I did was I regrouped this after I was done editing it and I added a little shadow effect to that. So there you have it, the finished slide. It used to look like this and now it only took a couple of minutes to get that.